You know what? Let's start carrying the Desert Mantis around. This thing packs a pretty good punch. Look at that headshot. I'm liking this pistol, you guys. Welcome back, everybody, to Undead Legacy. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we're going to do stuff. Don't know what? We're just going to do stuff. <laughs> so I've uh, gone through almost an entire in-game week, actually, just mining like crazy. Uh, so let's see. We have in here um, over 600, about 650-ish or so iron ingots that are cooking up. I've got over a thousand steel ingots cooking up in here and yeah so that's gonna replenish our iron and steel pretty good I have made 451 concrete blocks uh, so we have a lot of that going on we've got a gob of uh, stone dust and coal dust being made in there um, more stone dust in there, and then I have stacks and stacks and stacks and stacks of stone dust. I'm actually really low on clay, um, so we, we might need to take the uh, Valkyrie drill out and just go dig up a bunch of dirt somewhere. Uh, so that's where we're at, and uh, let's see. For comments, you guys were telling me that if we have the... And we got a bunch of uh, points to spend, too, by the way. It's just from all the mining I've been doing. Uh, but you guys were telling me that if you have the Wasteland series complete, then you can get military fibers from things like um, military trucks, hazmat gear, et cetera, et cetera. And you even said the like the you know the the folding barracks chairs. But I have to I have to get this you know I have to finish the Wasteland treasures before I can do that. So that doesn't help me at the moment. But it's certainly good information to know you know, for the future. I, I've, I've never really, um, you know, had to worry about collecting military fiber in any type of quantity uh, in other mods. So it's, I think it's more of an undead legacy thing. So, but anyway, it was good to know that. And I appreciate everybody pointing that out, but it doesn't help us now. Okay. Now in all of the, um, you know, mining and salvaging, I, I, I did some salvaging. I also cut a new path from the mine going through here uh, to the forest because I started a new iron mine and a nitrate mine and stuff in the forest. I just, you know, I know I can find that stuff in the wasteland, but the wasteland's such a big pain in the butt because, you know, of, of the Zeeks that are here. The other thing to tell you too is that this mine, it, we, we've pretty much exhausted this mine, at least in terms of metals. Uh, I've gotten below all of the iron and all of the titanium there's still some coal in here and then and, but then it's just stone so that's kind of why i started moving on to other locations and um not sure you know what's going to happen with with this mine um since we're part way down to bedrock in it we might i might continue digging down and then we could potentially turn it into a future hard base or something like that i haven't really decided all right, what else has happened? Let's see. I've uh, I finished this little platform here, um, so that uh, that way we can drive into the actual building, and you can see that I have the mining cart in here. Um, as I was going along and salvaging cars, I looted two really nice pieces, and I apologize I didn't catch this on camera, but you know I just. I just needed some time to, to get some stuff done without having to, you know, be rolling the camera, so to speak. And sometimes when that happens, you find stuff that, you know, you didn't find on camera. So you guys will just have to trust me. Hopefully you do. If you don't, well, too bad because I'm not lying to you. <laughs> but I found a, a superior crossbow bolt um, and I found a superior titanium machete. Uh, this titanium machete is... It's actually just a smidge, like we're talking like a half of a percentage point uh, lower from that, you know, that, that weird looking saw thing I've been carrying around forever and ever. But I, I just like the look of, of this machete better. It's just so badass. 
Uh, and so, you know, just to kind of change things up a bit, I've, I've switched over to this. So anyway, you know, I, I, I try not to make a habit of, of coming across really high end gear like that off camera, but sometimes it happens and there you go. Can't do anything about it, but move on. Um, okay. So we got that stuff and, um, I think that pretty much gets us up to date on where things currently are. Uh, we've got a ton of work that needs to be done, of course, on the Deshong Tower. And um, let me check here. How's our water? Oh, good. We, our water is full again. So why don't we grab... Let's grab jars this time um, for cooking purposes. Well, actually, hold on. Did I already make a bunch of water jars? If I did, they would be in here. Well, yeah, we have 45 and 20. Um, I think. Well, why don't we why don't we just do this? Why don't we just split it up? So we'll do 25 jars and 25 plastics. And you know, I'm just gonna keep as, as this pump continues fill, filling up. I'm just gonna keep, you know, filling these. Actually, no, I changed my mind. We'll do the plastics next time. I want to do. Uh, I want to do some murky water for, you know, making stuff. So let's just do a stack of murky water. There we go. Okay, cool. And then I'm just keeping that stuff over in here. But now we have 50 murky water for making uh, chemical stuff and that sort of thing. All right, guys. So we're still very focused right now on trying to get upgrades done on first our furnace, then our blacksmith's forge. And then our chemistry station. However, if I got the chemistry station upgraded, then I could make military fiber. Uh, because I think that is our holdup right at the moment for getting these guys upgraded. I'm only going to do one of these for now. But we will eventually, of course, get all of them done. So we have 17 military fiber. We need three more pieces of that stuff to do what we need to do. One of you guys did say... Scrapping hazmat gear will give military fiber. What? Why did I do that? Sorry. Um, let's see if that's actually the case because I come across this stuff fairly often. Not the chest piece. I'm not going to scrap the chest piece, but pretty much all of these other pieces I come across fairly often. Uh, probably the gloves more so than the boots. So let's just see if we can actually scrap these. I don't know if we need that Wasteland Treasures bonus for this or not. We're going to find out here in just a second. Whoa, look at that, you guys. we got four pieces. All right, fantastic. Fantastic. Okay. I Yeah, I... You did mention... Someone did mention that in the comments, but I wasn't sure if that was in conjunction with having, you know, the Wasteland bonus oh you know while i'm thinking about it because i always forget let's let's get these points taken care of all right fantastic so that means we can get our our furnace upgraded okay so for points we are focusing on uh perception and see we got perception up to 10 we want to get this up to eight in order to get maximum penetrator okay so that just burned two points uh, now we have maximum penetrator firearms archery and spears ignore 35 percent armor Hunting a sniper rifle, armor piercing ammo can penetrate three additional targets or a block up to a thousand hit points. That's really good. I really like the penetrator. I've always liked that skill in this game. Okay, so that leaves us with two more perk points. Um, I've been doing a lot of sniping. And let's see, we've got Lucky Looter and Living Off the Land already maxed out. I don't really care about Treasure Hunter, Animal Tracker, Huntsman. I mean, I never have a problem accumulating more meat that I know what to do with in this game or hide or bone, so... Um, you know, these these are nice early game, or maybe if you're on a multiplayer server and you have one person that's in, responsible for gathering food. But for a single player, I just never really saw much of the point in that, especially in the later game. So we could up our archery. Why don't we do that? Let's up our archery to level four um, or to level five. Yeah, to level four. Sorry. But we're going to have to get perception all the way to 10 if we want to maximize these two, which we might do at some point in the future. But I think what we should start doing is focusing now on some other trees, uh, like maybe our our health. We haven't really done much, you know, with our health in terms of fortitude and that sort of thing. 
Um, plus the fortitude tree will give us um, shotgun skills. We have a fairly high accumulated shotgun skill, but we don't have the perks very high. Healing factor would be good. M myth, myth, what the hell? <laughs> myth, mithratism, mithratism, mithrid, uh, yeah, mithratism. I think that's how that's pronounced. What does that even mean? Oh, poison resistance. Okay, that must be new with the update. I guess I could have figured that out by looking at the icon. I was all hung up on the word. <laughs> <laughs> mithridatism. Okay, everybody say mithridatism three times really fast. Go. <laughs> Jeez. Okay. Um. Poison. Okay, so poison resistance reduces build up speed, increases recovery speed. Okay. Not. I mean, yeah. Okay. I did get into it with a scorpion, and he did poison me, but I just popped the antidote, and that was fine. So I, I, I don't know if that's really worth putting points into. Uh, what is this? Gift of life. Instantly gain plus five to your maximum health. Oh, okay. So that, that increases the um, your health cap. What does this require? Fortitude level two. Okay. Uh, intellect is already at nine. Robotics inventor, better barter. That wouldn't be bad to get up. Uh, plus, I think when we do this, we, don't, when, we not only get more money, but we have a better chance of better loot with the traders. Daring Adventurer, eh. Charismatic Nature, That's I think that's only for multiplayer. Yeah, Nearby Allies. Salvage Operations, this would be definitely good to put some points into. As would Lockpicking, I mean, there's there's so many good things, but, you know, we're doing okay on salvaging, we're doing okay on lockpicking, that sort of thing. I think we really do need to focus on getting healthier and stronger. We haven't even done hardly a doggone thing at all in Agility. If we wanted to... Yeah, man, that would be good, too. Sneak attacks, 50% more damage. Parkour is always a good one. But here again, nice to have stuff. But, I mean, we do a pretty good job of holding our own. I think let's focus on fortitude. Plus, it's going to help us with shotgun skills. Okay, so that being said, now that we figured that out, um, why don't we go ahead and put... I don't really care so much about Brawler. What's Infiltrator? Landmines and traps trigger slower taking okay well insulated iron gut yeah i think oh pain tolerance there we go increases damage yeah let's do that okay yeah pain tolerance <laughs> i was looking at the icon you know where it shows the guy with the boxing gloves and i was thinking that was a hand-to-hand -hand skill what is this field medic medical healing items restore temperature more. okay that would be a good one to have too so yeah guys we're going to start focusing on the fortitude tree for now as we continue on uh, but we're we're in pretty good shape now with you know the combination of penetrator level four dead eye level four archery. Um, I really should think about putting at least one point into hidden strike though too. Okay, we got that figured out. Now what are we gonna do? Uh, oh, we're gonna do these upgrades. We are gonna do the upgrades. Okay, so let's go into here. I'm gonna take all of this stuff out. We're gonna hang on to uh, that iron for now. Let's put all of that stuff in there. We'll put the wood in here for now. Now, I know that I'm not going to melt down that other hazmat gear for now. Can some of can can you guys confirm something for me in the comments? Do I need hazmat gear in this mod? I know you need it in uh, Darkness Falls, and I believe you need you can use it in Ravenhurst, but it doesn't actually do anything in Undead Legacy or not. If you would let me know that, I'd appreciate it, because if it doesn't really do anything, we, we might as well scrap it, you know, and get more military fiber and stuff from it. Okay, so. Oh, you know what? Darn it. I don't know if I have 20 books. That still might be a bit of a challenge. Let's see what we have. We have 12. All right, we're going to need to, uh, we're probably going to have to go out and do some more looting. We have plenty of research data. Now, I could burn research data to make books but I, books are relatively easy to come by so i think we're gonna we're just gonna go hit another poi and see if we can come up with eight more books or at least get closer to that in the meantime i'm gonna put that military fiber in there let's go ahead and see where are we at uh with food 
Okay. Oh, I've got 15 meat stew. We're fine on food. I was going to say, I thought I made some, some more stuff, but, eh, but I did. Okay, let's put this in here. I don't know if you if you guys can hear that in the background. My my father is here spending the holidays with us from Washington State. We went and picked him up from the airport in Denver last night. And he's out in the living room right now watching some some family videos that I converted for him, you know, from some old eight millimeter tapes onto it, you know, digitize them for him. Uh, so that was kind of my Christmas present to him, and he's out there listening to it, but he's he's got, he's got the volume way up. So if you guys hear a little bit of stuff in the background, then that's what it is. Incidentally, I know it's a, a couple days early, but for those of you who celebrate it, Merry Christmas, everybody. Um, I don't know if I'll if I'll get another episode out before Christmas uh, because, you know, I do have family here and we got holiday stuff going on, but I'll, I'll do the best I can. Um, this is probably going to be a completely unedited video, too, by the way, just because I'm trying to get it knocked out really quick and so that I can get it out to you guys and then, you know, get back to the family stuff. Uh, so anyway, that's neither here nor there other than, again, Merry Christmas, everyone. Hope you guys have a wonderful Christmas and that you can spend it with your family and your friends and eat lots of good food, get presents, all that kind of stuff. All right. Anyway, back to this. So we're going to we're going to go out and we're going to see if we can find uh, eight more books. So do I have ammo? Come on, menu leg. Yeah, we got we're going to have to buy some more of these. I can't make them yet. Let's talk. Excuse me. Let's top off our seven, six, twos. So I should have some of those in here. Uh, did I make some more of those? I think I did, but man, have I shot that much up already? <laughs> I guess I have. Oh, um, one of you guys were telling me that the Adjudicator is even better than the M60. Do I have that? Adjudicator. Oh, I found it in a micro SMG too, but that's not that big a deal. If I did, it would be in here. So I guess I don't have an an adjudicator. Keeping all my handguns in here. I would I really like the handguns in this game, so I I need to put some points into that at some point. Um I suppose what we could do is we could you know, we need to start shooting handguns to get the skills up too. Which one is the most powerful handgun we have? That does 45, that does 107 Desert Mantis. That does 93 the Desert Vulture, 44 in 104. You know what? Let's start carrying the Desert Mantis around. Do we have any mods we can put on it? We could probably put the Hunter Kit on it. And... Do, 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 do. Sawed off shotgun. Yeah, I think that's probably the only mod we have in here that we can put on a pistol. I'm, I'm not going to... I'm going to suck at it at first because we have no points in it, but we need to start... We need to start leveling it up if, if we are planning on using it. Okay, so why don't we put that in slot number six, and we'll move our bladed weapon to seven. And, um, yeah, we'll do that arrangement. Okay, so let's at least put that on there to bump its damage up by 7.8 points. And this requires 44 rounds, uh, 44 caliber. We are tentatively... Oh, yeah, I got lots of 44s. Okay, so let's just grab a stack of those. Um, my my dad and my son and my son-in-law and, uh, and my nephews, we're, we're tentatively planning on going shooting tomorrow, but we're supposed to have a really bad uh, cold Arctic freeze thingy going on here in Colorado where it's going to be like 50 below zero with the wind chill factor. <laughs> So we're thinking, yeah, I don't know if going to the range when it's that cold out is a good idea. We do have indoor ranges I suppose we could go to, but I don't know. I think we're going to change those plans. Uh, anyway, okay, so uh, what does it take to repair this? Probably steel, maybe titanium. Oh, yeah, just steel. Okay, nice. Now, did I learn... Didn't we learn the 4X scope? We did. We could make a 4X. You know what, though? On a pistol, I'd almost rather have a 2X. Can I make a 2X? Whoops. 
Nope, I don't know how to make a 2x scope. Only scopes I have are the 8x, the sniper scope, so you can't put those on pistols. Right? Yeah, those are 8x. Uh, that has a reflex sight on it. That would, that would actually be nice to have on the pistol, too. Well, let's just use it with open sights for now. Anyway. All right. Are we ready to go? Am I done screwing around? <laughs> uh, we got food. We got meds. We've got honey if we get infected. Jailbreakers. Yeah, I think I think we're good. Are these... Oh, yeah. I was, I was wearing night vision. And we have a little bit of money, too. So I think we're ready to go. Let's, um, let's, yeah, let's take the mining cart down below because we can use it to put loot in. And I think the motorcycle's already down below anyway. And then we're just going to go out and about and look around for some more books so we can get that, those furnaces upgraded. Tomorrow is the next horde night. And, um, I think we're going to, we're going to try our horde base again. I will make sure that it's all repaired and ready to go. Uh, whoop. Back up just a little more. There we go. But I am I am starting to think about, you know, a new horde base design. Because, you know, our base as it currently is, is just... It's almost not working anymore. <laughs> and if we get overrun on a day um, 133 then you know then we'll know for sure okay it's time for a new hard base I just haven't focused on that because you know, we've had so much so many other things going on trying to get these upgrades after we update you know updated the game you know continuing work on the Deshong tower all that sort of thing so you know the horde the horde oh shit is not uh, my senses have picked up something hasn't been a real high priority you know uh, but we we will it is my intention, is what I'm trying to say, is to is to come up with a more elaborate horde base at some point uh, as we continue to move through this series. Okay, so we are looking for eight more books. Um, we could... I guess we could do this quest. And hopefully we'll find some books while we do it. Yeah, so let's do the quest. Plus we'll get some extra money and... and you know, rep and all that sort of thing from doing the quest. Where'd she go? Oh. I thought I just saw Arlene. I wanted to pop her with the pistol and start getting some levels. So I guess there's an Edgar. We can hit him. Wow. For having zero skills or perks, this thing packs a pretty good punch. It is a 44 Magnum, I suppose. Cool. Okay, well, we just got some points. <laughs> wow, I'm... What the hell? Oh. I'm impressed with how much damage this pistol is doing, considering we have no skills. Looks like our scorpion buddy's stuck. Well, he's not stuck now. He's the leviathan, too. Yeah, we got to get out the big gun for this guy. It's going to take 10 years to kill him with the pistol. It takes almost 10 years to kill him with the M60. He is one tough mother. Of course, he is the biggest, baddest scorpion in the game, right? And we got some venom sacks. Nice. Okay, let, let me look at something here. Pistols. Where's pistols? Handguns. Here. Yeah, we have no perks in handguns, and we have... Where? Here. Okay, so we, we got 21 points into this. So, yeah, the only way that's going to happen, of course, is if we just do it, right? All right, let's pick that up. Let's loot this. Uh, but we're going to go. I'm not going to, I'm not going to, like, double loot. I don't really do that much anymore anyways. Okay, so this is a tier 4 clear. He says as he double loots the lantern. <laughs> double looting, and by my definition, is the end loot. I don't really have any qualms about looting, you know, basic stuff and then looting it again. 
Look at that headshot. I'm liking this pistol, you guys. Hey, didn't I just kill you? Incoming enemies. Prepare for conflict. Oh shit. Whew. Okay. We got infected. And we have a sprained arm, which is going to affect our aim. But how many points do we have now? <laughs> we have 42 points. Okay. I know, I'm not going to keep checking that. It's just kind of funny. Okay, anyway, let's get moving here. So we climb up here. Oh, yeah, I've done this house lots of times. This is the house that has all that weird shit in the basement. Okay. Let's get some sneaky sneak off here. We got our, our superior crossbow, and we have level four now in archery so we should be kicking ass and taking names with this thing we should also probably take a bandage because our health isn't that good and let's take a health bar to reduce the time on the sprain there all right we don't want to use the pistol if we're trying to be sneaky snake because i don't have a silencer on it isn't there usually a dude around the corner here too All right, we are after books, so that means I am going to be looting uh, all the basic stuff. And since we're going to be looting all the basic stuff, we might as well also pick up this sort of thing. All right, let's go through here. And I think we jump down there and we get rushed by some Zikaruskis. Why don't we take one of these? Get our health up even more, and we will counter the thirst effect with one of those. Make sure that's loaded. Make sure that's loaded. Make sure that's loaded. Make sure that's loaded. Okay. Oh, we don't get rushed in here? Okay, guess not. <laughs> My mom's on the on the video. My mom's I can hear her in the background. Okay, we're gonna get rushed in here. Master, we are not alone. Ooh, irradiated spider. All right, let's not mess around with him. There we go. Okay, yep, checking all the boxes for books. Uh, there is a weapons thingy in there. Are we supposed to get at it from here? <laughs> How do we get to that? I guess we can get at it through here. This isn't going to take that long to break. I think there's another way to get to it, though, from the other side, but we'll just get it from here. Nice. That's pretty good stuff. We'll take it. Oh, yeah, we could have got, got it through there. Let's pop it. Okay, I see another red dot. Another Edgar. That's a feral Edgar. Oh, that actually hurt our... Our hand. Oh, chance for books. That's not books. Okay, that will take. And scrap. A little pair action. There's three charges in there so let's do this uh, so these are the chairs you guys were saying I could scrap 
but I think I need wasteland. So what we'll do when we come across them is we'll loot them, we'll pick them up, and save them, and then we'll just throw them in the recycler. You know, once we get um, wasteland treasures maxed out. Why am I using a pick on that? Don't use a pick on that. The wrong tool for the job. All right, let's go around here. Yeah, I think we have to drop down through there. Check all the trash for books. Got some yucca juice. Pick that up. My senses have picked up something. Oh. Everybody dead? Everybody's dead. All right, what do we got in here? Nothing. Okay. Some military armor parts. Uh, nothing in here I'm too concerned about. Nothing in that plug either. Here we go. Come on, books. Jabbercopter accessories. Okay, let's go through here. Medical supplies. Come on. It's always a little jank trying to get through that little hole there. Uh, it doesn't look like I get my crossbow bolt back. That's all right. Look at that. Good night. Sneaky sneak, man. Here, let's get the giblets off this dude. Whoa. <laughs> we just barely made that jump. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Incoming enemy. Oh, Prepare why couldn't you have stayed asleep? So I could have stealth killed you. Oh, well. All right, let's check this out. Some honey, that's good. Um, are we, I guess, are we supposed to go out that way? Yeah, I think so, because it's just a closet. Nice little leather chest armor piece there. Nothing behind there. And check this. Okay. I'm not going to pick up any more lanterns. We're good on lanterns. Do, 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 do. Nothing behind there. There's going to be Zeke's in that room. Let's see if we can get any sneaky sneaks. I don't think we can, though, because I think they come through that door there. Takes care of them. Uh, I'm not going to be grabbing a bunch of computers and stuff anymore. Don't need to. Because you don't get the research data from them. It's too bad that was nerfed. Uh, okay. I was thinking there was going to be a Zeke around the corner. Maybe there is in there. Okay, chance for a book? Resist pain. Oh, by the way, we're maxed out in a couple of skills. Uh, mining is one of them, but we've actually been maxed out in mining for a while. We are maxed out in mining tools and... Oh, maybe not. I thought there was something else like we were right on the cusp of maxing out, but... I guess it was mining tools that I was thinking of. So 50% damage and 50% harvesting efficiency. Really nice. Okay. Maybe that was a different old guy in a different time time and place. 
that Mac had another Max that one. Can't remember. Oh, here's a bookcase. Man, we're not really doing so great on well, getting books, are we? All right, let's go down here. Uh, how about if we top off our health? And we'll have a meat stew, which will give us even a little more health and some food. Isn't that cool how that works? Okay. More, more chances for bookcases. There are a lot of bookcases in this house. It's just they're not giving us what we want. If we don't get an, enough by the time I'm done with this POI, we'll we'll just make the rest of the books that we need. Um, here, let's check that. Come on, menu lag. Okay. I think there's going to be a zombo on the table in here. Uh, oh, or behind there? All right, come on, books. There we go. We got one book there. Is that the first book we've actually found? It is. <laughs> oh, well, what can you do? Sometimes you can get books out of desks. Sometimes you can get books out of filing cabinets. Let's unlock this guy. We'll start with counterclockwise. But anymore, it's a crapshoot. All right, bring that around there. Oh, man, my wife is making bacon. It smells so good. And she goes down to the the grocery store to the to the meat department and gets, like, the good bacon. Like applewood smoked, my thick sliced. Up something. My mouth is watering just thinking about it. All right. in there. Whoa, that scared the hell out of me. All right, nothing else really in here. We don't have that thingy where if you take those apart, you get gems and stuff, do you? Oh, look at that. Sneaky sneak with 79 brass in it. That's not bad. I'll take 79 brass. It's cowboy boots. Some sewing kits, always useful. All right, we need to... Nah, we're doing fine on, on encumbrance. I was going to say, we might need to put some stuff in Roberta's inventory. Uh, this isn't really a very good headshot. Let's see what happens. Armpit shot. That worked. Big Mama. more red dots okay we're clear in here anyway some lead weights anything up there another coffin with some metal and glass in it and another sewing kit do we have this Ben, I think we do, but just in case, let's grab it because we could use it for our workshop when we finally get that going. I've got a bad feeling about this. Are those just outside Zeke's? Probably. Where are they? Can't tell. There's like two two of them, I think. All right, what's up here? A working stiffs. So we're going to have to do a little bit of parkour action here. That's just a pipe pistol. It isn't worth much. Get that out of the way. Um, I don't think I can jump that gap. No. If I can just reach this from here... There we go. We're good. Okay. Uh, 
All right, are we going this way? Yeah, we're going this way. Into the kitchen. Close that door for a second. Check all this stuff real quick. I don't think we can get books out of cabinets, but maybe we can. We'll check them anyway. We are not alone. We are not alone, Master. Okay, a little bit of food action there. Didn't we come through here already? I'm corn fused. Oh shit. Down with you, Larry. No, we have not come through here. Look, there we go. Another book and some research data. Fantastic. Cans and water. There we go. Now we're going to go downstairs. Okay, yeah, we're on the other side of the house here. I don't think I'm too worried about the zombos outside. Okay, I think we're going to have some action down here. Maybe not in this immediate room. That's just a corpse. Okay, let's check these cabinets, cupboards. I've got a bad feeling about this. 74 brass. Nice. All right, let's move things along here. I'm not, I'm going to stop looting everything, but anything that has the chance of getting us some um some books. We will be going after those. Oh! They must have got through from the outside. Jiggly! Let's close that door. Okay, um, grab the water out of there. Is there something in here? I can't remember. Well, even if there is, that's a lot of hit points. Can we pop him through here? Sure can. Okay, chance for beakers. Do 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 Okay. All right, come here, Roberta. How may I assist you? Oh, crap. <laughs> I forgot to empty her. I guess we're not going to be putting anything in Roberta's inventory. Okay. Yeah. So, in that case, we're going to pop a steroid. We're also going to do this, and we're going to... I guess we can still scrap. Well, we could sell that for 85 coin. We'll probably hang on to that. Okay. Let's keep uh, keep on keeping on here. Another paintbrush, some plastic, and more sewing kits. All right, I guess we're done here. Oh, man, we could have had a chance to get a beaker out of that. What happens if you take a chemistry station apart? I mean, what do you get? 
sure it isn't going to be a beaker, but let's just see. Scrap iron and firewood. Iron plating pipes. Yeah, it's kind of the same stuff you get when you just take a, a workbench apart. However, you know, scrap iron plating and pipes don't, doesn't suck. It's worth, worth grabbing for sure. Okay. We're getting close, people. Getting close. This is where the party really starts. I don't think it's possible to... Um, to kill anybody in here without alerting all of them. And I don't have explosives on me, do I? Why? <laughs> why do we even ask why? That's just it, man. Why do we even ask why? Okay. So what we're going to do instead is we're going to, we can't even block that very well, can we? Um, okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to wake them up. We're going to run through that door. We're going to put this block down. We're going to upgrade it. And then take our chances. Make sure everybody's loaded. You're loaded. You especially. You're loaded. We probably won't use the pistol in this room. Let's see if we can get one sneaky sneak off, though. Incoming enemies. Prepare for conflict. Okay. Put this down. Get it upgraded. A lot of zomba doodles. Roberta, you're in the way. Crawly, creepy crawly. All right, return to trader. We are done. I uh, don't think I'm going to bother with the gasoline in there. We, we're we good on gas. Let's check all the coffins. Because, you know, there's copper wire and cottons. Uh, cottons. Coffins. Copper wire and cottons. Oh, good. We got a book. There's books and cottons. Coffins. Why do I see, keep saying cotton? What's the matter with my... That didn't go so well. What's the matter with my brain and my mouth not working in conjunction? That whole stack is one thingy, huh? Oh, that's that other cubby hole thingy, right? Okay. I suppose we could probably get brass from these, huh? Let's pick them up. Candelabra. All right, fat loot's room. Did I bring any eye candy with me? I did not. Nobody is surprised about that. Me, least of all. Okay, we got a repair kit out of that deal. Okay, that's a pretty nice piece. Fix it up. We'll sell it for some, some money. Popping pills. Come on, chance for a beaker. That is not a beaker, in case you didn't notice. Okay, let's check this. We... I, I did have did have the presence of mind to make sure I had jailbreakers on me. Oh wait a minute, that's the skill that I that I thought we were really close on. It says we have 98. Lock picking. Your lock picking level 98 is not high enough. What? We don't have level 98 in lock picking. We have level 23. Why does it say is it saying I need 98? Huh. Maybe that's what it's saying. Maybe it's saying I need 98. Okay. It doesn't matter. As long as we have jailbreakers, we got it. There we go. 
Back this way. Ooh, that one's tricky. Just a Nance eyebrow that way. There we go. Titanium spear. I think we have a titanium spear. So we're going to scrap this. Not that I use spares really anyways, but... Okay. That loot wasn't that good. It was okay, I suppose. A couple more things in here we can check for... Books. More paintbrushes. That desk is not lootable. Um... 31 paper for that. Pretty good. All right. I will meet you guys back at the trader. We'll do our turn in. Then we'll go back to the base and we'll upgrade our furnace to wrap up this episode. Here you go, friend. Whatever Steel knuckles for 421. Or sea level leg iron armor for 709. That's obviously what we're going to take. Jobs. Greetings. Clears Alec, restore power. Clear at Zombona Hotel. We've done Zombona Hotel. Collapse building. Well, we haven't done collapse building in a while. Let's take no that. We're not going to do it in I'm this episode, though. Everything All right. You've done. Let's take a look at your inventory real quick. I think I've already checked his inventory this time around, I think. Maybe I haven't. I don't know. We're, we're going to look one way or the other. Advanced armor fittings. We could buy that stuff for, for research data. Hector's Wrath. I think that's the, the shocky shock. Oh, my apologies. Check back again, and I may have what you're looking for. Yeah, this is like stuff that maybe I've sold to him. Maybe. Maybe not. Urban Combat Volume 7. Yeah, let's buy that and read it. <clears throat> and uh, Vehicle Reserve Fuel Tank. Can, no problem. Can we make that? We can't. All right. Yeah. You know what? I think I'm going to buy that. <coughs> it's 2700 bucks. Well, let's buy it. Okay. We have enough research data to do this next upgrade and make the remaining books that we need, uh, which is five. So I don't think I'm going to spend any more money right now on okay. extra stuff. All right, I'll see you guys back at the base. All right, we are back. Let's turn that off. Um, So we're going to need to make some more books. Let me get a few things put away here. Um, where is my uh, Valkyrie drill? Oh, the Valkyrie drill can only have one mod on it, uh, but it's got a grave digger. Let's see. It's the same flavor as this one. Uh, this one is just like half a percent better, so we'll put that one on there. And I was going to do something else, too. I can't remember what it was. Yeah, let's read this. Vehicle reserve fuel tank. That's something I would want to put on here. Or not repair. Open. It's got a vehicle fuel saver, so let's put that on there too. Nice. Okay. That takes care of that. Okay, so we need to make five more books. Let's get those going. I had the paper with me, but I don't. So we need 100 paper to make. No, we need 125 paper to make. All right. Our books should be finished. They are. So we have research data. We have books. We should have a total of 20 military fiber. Fiber. 
The rest of those should be in here. We actually have 21. Okay, so we got that. We need 50 bolts. We're going to have to make seven more of those. And these come in five per, so we'll make a total of 10 more. We need 10 pipes. <clears throat> Why isn't that showing up? This is broadcasting. Here we go. Okay. Um, what we're going to need... Here, let's grab the bolts. Okay, so that gives us all the bolts. We need 20 clay. That's going to be in the farming bin. Oops. 50 um, uh, metal plating thingies. Oh crap, we're going to have to make those. Okay, we've got the we've got the materials, I just have to make them up. How many can we make in total, in fact? 587. Let's make let's make a hundred of these. And then we're going to need 40 bricks, which I should have right here. Okay, so we're just waiting on the the metal. So what we're going to do in the meantime is we're going to pick these up because this is the the new one will take up like a four block space. Uh, anything in here? Yeah, let's grab that. I, we need to get another thing in the doodle. We'll pick this up. I wonder if. We need and want to remove these as well, uh, just because the new uh, furnace will probably be in the way and we can't see it. I'm just going to put all of that stuff in there for the moment. That's not really where it goes, but we need to get rid of it because it's too heavy. I'm just going to put that there for now. So the upgraded version of this is probably a four block thingy too, I'll bet you. <clears throat> but I mean, it doesn't matter because we, we can always move it later if we have to. So let's put this here. And then I think it'll upgrade to these four blocks. If it doesn't, we'll just readjust it when the time comes. Almost there. Oh, did I put the bricks back away? I surely did. Here, let's grab a half stack of those. All right, here we go. The moment we've been waiting for. Oh, we <laughs> we need a stupid hammer. Of course we do. Makes sense. Upgrade. Oh, I guess it goes into our inventory anyways. Never mind. I thought it would upgrade in place. Um, yeah, let's just put it there for now. Wow, look at this thing, man. This is awesome. Okay, now we can once again smelt titanium. The next thing we need to do is we need to... Can this... Can this run off electricity? Looks like it's got an electric motor up there. You would think so. It doesn't show up though with a an attached an attachment thingy. If I No, I, it yeah, it would show, you know, so as if I point at this, it says 120 watts. It would show us that if this was electrical. So I guess it's not. That's kind of surprising. But it is what it is. Okay, so I have so much coal that we could burn coal in this thing. But we also have... Oh, I was going to make a whole bunch of presto logs, fuel bricks. Let's go to town on those. Uh, we'll, we'll just burn those instead of the coal. All right. 
cool so we now have the ability once again like I said to smelt titanium uh, so the next thing we need to get working on is getting this upgraded this is going to be a mu much easier to do we just have to collect more research data and again get 10 more books which of course we can do by going out and doing some more looting and doing some questing so I think we're going to keep doing that because until I can get this upgraded to tier 4 even though I can smelt titanium I can't do anything with it without getting this upgraded so this is the next highest priority and then again our last thing that we'll work towards is getting the chem station upgraded to tier 3 alright guys I'm going to let you go here and in the next episode I think what we'll do is we'll work on getting the horde base fixed up and ready for horde night and then do the horde night and then after that get back at it so with that being said i hope you guys enjoyed this episode if you did please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel leave a comment share the video i might have one more video before christmas if i don't again merry christmas to all of you who celebrate it and we will see you next time we see you Bye bye